Good morning, you guys. It's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're doing another college week in my life. This is my first week back at school since spring break, so I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along. We're officially in the second half of the second semester of senior year of college. We are like inching closer and closer to the finish line, and I'm starting to have this like crisis that I'm getting so close to the end of college and I'm not like documenting enough of it. So welcome to a week in my life. We are just going to go through a very typical college week in my life today. Today is Monday. I have already had my first class. It's about 1 p.m. right now. I had my first class from 11 to 12 and I came back here. I'm working on a midterm, believe it or not. So I believe by the time this video goes up, my midterms vlog will already have gone up. I hope so because if it hasn't, we've got problems. In that video, I had basically everything due like right before spring break. That like makes more sense because it's like midterms week and then it's spring break and then you kind of like start with the second half of the semester. Not in this one class. I literally hate this class so much. It's my least favorite class. It sucks. I hate it. If you guys were here at the beginning of the semester, you know I had to switch into a bunch of classes last minute. This is one of those classes. I really kind of I did pretty well with the other classes that I switched into. A lot of them, the majority of them are fine. Four out of my five classes are fine. This one, you can only strike so much gold, I guess. This one, I just really strongly dislike this class. So we have two assignments due today. We have a midterm paper, an individual paper, and then we also have a group project presentation that's also part of our midterm. They're both due today, which is the Monday after spring break which I personally think is cruel, if you ask me. But no one asked me, so. So it's just me and this other girl and we're working on these slides and we put all this effort and all this work into the slides. And then we go back and look at the assignment and we're only allowed to have six slides. For a 15 minute presentation, we're only allowed to have six slides. We also need to have a three page outline for the project to like hand out to people while we're giving our present. I just hate this class. Simultaneously, I'm trying to finish the um, paper that I need to write for this class. So I'm really, I'm doing good. Things are going well for me. I'm having a great day. <laughs> Actually, I'm having a pretty good day other than this. Once this is over, we'll be done and things will be a little calmer. If you guys are new here, welcome to the chaos. My name is Charlotte. I'm a senior at the University of Michigan. We're going through my school drama right now. I'm studying communications and media. I do a lot of like college productivity and lifestyle content here on YouTube. So if you're into that, subscribe down below, like the video, come hang out with the family for a bit. Oh, maybe it's these. Yeah. I'm like, why do I have a headache? got sunglasses squeezing my brain. I am going to finish working on these assignments and get my work done. It's 1.21 right now and I don't have this class until 4 p.m. So we've got plenty of time. I'm not stressed about it. I'm literally almost done with both of these assignments. But welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the week. Happy Monday. We are going to have a fabulous week. It's just, it's going to be great. I'm calling it. I'm manifesting it. It's going to be a great week. Why should it not? project slash presentation slides are all done. We're slaying. It's 3.09. I set one of my goals for March to be like getting work done early. And I know, I know, hold on. I know that me finishing my assignment one hour before the deadline is not early, but I like, I think that I'm, I'm getting into the groove. Like I have a paper that's due on Wednesday for my like 5 30 to 7 p.m class that i'm gonna start when i get home from my 7 p.m class today i feel i'm feeling inspired to do my work and really get out there it is pouring rain i don't know what it is about me and this year but whenever there's like a first day back after something whether it's the first day of school or for me right now like the first day back after spring break it pours rain every time <laughs> so it's pouring rain outside uh, and I'm gonna go have to walk to class. But now that we are done with my assignment, I want to make my thumbnail for my 
ideal morning routine video that went up a while ago for you guys. I'm not sure when that went up. It was for me supposed to go up yesterday. Today for me is Monday. It was supposed to, my, I usually upload on Sundays, but it just didn't work out this time. It was spring break and I had visitors. My friend Taryn came to visit and my cousin came to visit. So I had people um, here all spring break. I didn't go anywhere for spring break. I stayed here and I had people come to me. That's all to say that I didn't post a video yesterday for Sunday, so I'm going to post it today. Right now, I'm going to make my thumbnail in the next like half an hour before I need to leave and hopefully get that video posted and quite tired. I tried to pull the old I'll go to sleep now and finish my reading in the morning trick and it didn't work and I need to stop trying to do that because it never works. <laughs> today though is Tuesday. Like I said, today is my light day. I only have two classes today and I'll be done by 1 p.m. So we are hopefully going to come back here after my second class and have a very productive afternoon. I have this one like assignment that I need to grade for my teaching assistant position that I've literally been putting off for straight up a month. So I really, really need to get those assignments graded for the students that are like taking the class and waiting for their grades to get returned. That is like the number one thing that I need to do after classes today. I might do it between my classes. We'll see, but it's getting done today. And I am also going to go to bed early today. I'm going to. There's nothing I can do to stop myself. Anyway, it's 8.22, I need to blast. I really need to go to class. So, see you on campus. You left behind, you left behind. Can someone help me to my love again? Cause all I want is to be loved, is to be loved. Can someone free me from all my doubts? Feels like a prison now. I got Panera. You guys, I'm so excited to chow down on this food. I was sitting in class in my, like, the class that I was just in. I was so hungry. I couldn't focus. Like, I really was trying very hard to pay attention. And the professor, like, the content was interesting. And the professor was, like, being engaging and all that stuff. And I was trying so hard to focus. But literally, the only thing I could think of was how starving I was. So, I am very excited to start chowing down. We got, what did we get? This is like a chicken salad sandwich, I think. Obviously the baguette on the side. And then the, a little like mini cup of the broccoli cheddar mac and cheese. It's so good. It's like the Panera mac and cheese had a baby with their broccoli cheddar soup and it came out to be this. And it's, it's so good. It's like a hug in a cup. So I know I promised myself and you guys that I would do my work today, but um, while I eat, I'm going to watch Outer Banks. I'm pretty sure I said this in my midterms vlog, but I just can't. I've decided to try to stop mixing like food and work, whether it's like work work or like school work, because it never goes well. Like I'm never productive. So I've just decided that whenever I'm eating, I'm not working. And whenever I'm working, I'm not eating. I'm just not mixing the two anymore. So I'm going to watch an episode of Outer Banks season three while I eat this food. It is, guys, if you haven't watched Outer Banks, go watch Outer Banks. It's so good. The third season just came out and 
I have been devouring it. So last night I came home and I just decided to do my work and then watch an episode of Outer Banks before I went to sleep. It actually ended up being two episodes. <laughs> I watched the eighth episode last night and it like, I thought it was the end of the show. Like I thought it was, I thought there were only eight episodes in the season. So I finished episode eight, no spoilers, but I was like, that's not a very satisfying conclusion. And then the little like next episode button popped up. I was like, oh my gosh. And there are 10 episodes in this season. So I was so excited last night because I get two extra episodes of Outer Banks that I wasn't anticipating having. I didn't think we were gonna have. So cheers to that. Time to take a little midday break, lunch and a movie. <laughs> I gotta say, there is nothing quite like finishing something that you've been just like can't stop thinking about that's been on your mind forever. Especially if it's something that you feel kind of guilty about not doing. I'm feeling fabulous. I feel great. I've also made a vow to myself that I will not ever let that happen again. <laughs> but you know, I really do tend to make these promises to myself and then... I don't always follow through, so we'll see. I do have a paper that's due tomorrow at 5.30 that I low-key forgot about. <laughs> I'm getting into the groove. Like, I have a paper that's due on Wednesday for my, like, 5.30 to 7 p.m. class that I'm gonna start when I get home from my 7 p.m. class today. You guys, I... The senior slide, man. I always thought it was fake. I was always like, you're just being lazy if you say that like the senior slide or like senioritis, but it is so painfully real. I have this paper that's due tomorrow that I'm working on right now. It's five to eight pages, but it's like narrative style. You're basically just like telling a story of an interview that I conducted. So I think it should be fine. I write five page papers like all the time. So we're just working on this paper. Unfortunately, I do have so many things happening tomorrow. I have class and meetings and appointments and then more class and then my papers due. So I don't have a ton of time to work on it tomorrow, which is unfortunate because I would normally go to sleep and finish it tomorrow. But I'm thinking if I can get a rough draft slash outline done tonight and then proofread it and turn it in tomorrow, that would be fabulous. That would be great. So I'm gonna work on this now. I will update you guys in the morning and we will see if I'm able to pull it off. Who knows at this point. Okay, good morning. Happy Wednesday, you guys. I have made the executive decision to skip my first class today because I am still working on the paper from last night. I'm almost done with it. I've officially hit the page count, so I can honestly stop whenever, but I still wanna write a little conclusion. Page count, it's five to eight pages, and I always feel like kind of a loser if I only write five or like if I only write like the minimum amount of pages that we're required to write I feel like I don't know I feel like that's just lame I also just got word that I have another paper <laughs> that's due technically it's due at 6 p.m tonight but there's a grace period until 11 59 so I need to write that at some point <laughs> Usually assignments don't sneak up on me like that because I have my like assignment tracker in my Notion. I missed the notification that we have a paper due tonight. So I need to write that. So I'm giving myself some extra time. It's 11.21 right now. I've been writing my paper since this morning and I was waffling back and forth on whether I was gonna go to class or not. And my class started at 11, I'm here, I'm not in class. So that answers that question. I've gone to every single class before. I'm not making it today. So we are here. I've got some music playing and a study with me playing so I can write this paper, both of these papers, as quickly as possible and get them done. But rather than show you guys another montage of me working on homework, I have some really exciting news and some really exciting footage that I'm going to put in this vlog that happened last week. I got my cap and gown for graduation last week, which is absurd to me. Like it is not setting in that I'm graduating and that this is actually happening. Like getting the cap and gown was like, one of the first moments where I was like, oh my God, wait, this is real. Like I'm graduating. I'm about to not be a college student anymore. So I will import that footage right here and put that footage in this vlog, even though it's not from this week, but I think we'll all live. Please enjoy that footage. My roommate Rose and I went to go get our caps and gowns together. So enjoy that footage while I 
feverishly work on these two papers. I have no idea where this footage is gonna go, but we wanted to document it because this is a very exciting day. Rose and I, where are we going? We're going to the union to get our cows and cows for graduation. Hi. This is so exciting. So I called yesterday, I went to the M Den on campus, which is another place that they sell them. They were out of graduation caps. They had plenty of gowns, but they had no caps. I was like, what is this? So we're going to a different location and we're gonna go get our graduation caps and gowns and it's so exciting. So let's head over, come along. that I have purchased my cap and gown. Like I am ready to walk across a stage. Am I? I at least have the attire. Anyway, I am finished with my essay, which is kind of insane. The first one, the one that's due at 5.30. I have lost all ability to tell if my papers are good or not. Like I usually do very well on my papers and my professors tend to like say that I've got good writing skills and I, I feel fine about them. But like with this one, I just, the imposter syndrome recently, you guys, has been hitting like you would not believe. Like I literally, I wrote something the other day and I turned it in and I was absolutely convinced that I was gonna fail this assignment. I was like, this is bad. And then I got my grade back and the professor was like, this was really well written. Like you are a fantastic writer. I was like, So I've just lost all ability to gauge whether or not my writing is good or not. But the paper is done. I did end up about six pages. So we're chilling. We're like right in the middle-ish of the um, word suggested page count. I personally, while you guys were watching that montage and while I was working on my paper, I also had my therapy session for the week. So I ended up having it today. And you guys, if you have never done therapy but you're considering it, I would highly recommend it. It's just so helpful to have someone that you can just like talk things through with, like someone who's completely uninvolved in every situation of your life. Like you just, it's it's just nice to talk to someone. I personally use BetterHelp. Um, I've seen so many influencers work with BetterHelp. They're one of my dream brands to work with because I really actually genuinely like their platform. This video isn't sponsored or anything. I. I wish it was. Better help sponsor me. I love your platform. But I actually started using it because I saw so many other influencers working with BetterHelp and so many people were recommending it so highly. So I decided to give it a try and it is fabulous. I do have to say I really like their, pro their, their platform. So if you're considering therapy, this is your sign to start. It's really, it can seem super scary, but the actual process is so simple it's so calm it's very easy and it's just really helpful to talk through whatever you're going through so i just finished up with my little therapy session and it was fabulous but it's 3 30 right now i have class at four so i really should get started on my other paper but i have to leave in like 15 minutes so I might just turn this one in, proofread it one more time, turn this one in, and then head to my last two classes of the day, and then worry about the second paper later tonight. back from class sorry about the weird lighting i know that i'm like red as a tomato right now but look look outside the sky is still blue 6 57 it's almost 7 p.m and it's still light out and i'm having the time of my life oh my goodness you guys i swear the sun comes out or like starts staying out it starts staying later for longer and i just get so happy like my zeal for life comes back i'm having the most fabulous evening well okay so first of all it's still bright outside and it's 7 p.m so what could possibly be wrong nothing second of all 
I went back and I double checked the syllabus for the class that I had my paper, my like second paper due today. I don't even need to worry about it. There's a reason I didn't put it on my assignment list. It's because in that class there are three papers and you need to write two of them. And I've already written one of them. So I don't need to write this one, I'm just gonna write the last one. Like, yes, I could write this one and then skip the last one, but I would rather spend more time on th the other one and do better potentially than scramble and try to write this one at the very last second and potentially do badly on it and then have to write the third one anyway. So I'm done, I don't have to work on that paper. I checked that off, I put it off my to-do list, out of my mind. And the night just keeps getting better. It's just a glorious evening for me. I was starving in class. I really, I think I need to like adjust the times of day that I'm eating <laughs> my meals because I'll be sitting in class and I'll have like a half an hour left to go and I am like making noises. Like my stomach is like yelling. I'm so like so hungry towards the end of my classes. Anyway, so I was coming home and I was thinking like, oh, it's gonna take forever to cook, but I don't know how this worked out. I have leftovers. I have leftover like chicken from one meal but no sides left and then leftover sides but no protein from a meal that I made earlier in the week so I'm just gonna make them together and I'll have chicken potatoes and broccoli and it'll be a full meal I am really just over here thriving it started out as kind of a stressful day and skipping class and not my best and then it really just turned into a fabulous time I also oh my god the list just keeps going I also had a meeting tonight that's usually from 9 to 10 p.m., but it got moved up to 7.30, which is fabulous. Uh, so now I don't need to stay awake super late for this meeting. I can just have it right now and then be done for the night. It's a fabulous, fabulous day. Hi guys, happy Thursday. The good vibes continue. I am having the best day. I'm having a fabulous day. This is so exciting. I feel like I've been having a lot of like neutral days recently where I'm kind of like, it's not... A bad day but it's not necessarily like a great day it's just kind of like a medium day but yesterday and today i've been having fabulous days except for i forgot to charge my camera battery so it might die <laughs> so you guys i've been getting very exciting news i showed you my cap and gown earlier in the vlog earlier in the week i showed you guys that i'm getting ready for graduation you guys are new here i'm a senior and i'm like really in denial about my college experience coming to an end but i got a very exciting email the other day i got two number one i was invited to an academic honor society which i think is a really big deal and i'm really happy about it it's like a nationwide thing so it's hopefully gonna look very good on my resume and help me get a job which we'll talk about later but i also have been invited to an honor ceremony where i will be recognized for my grades and um it's basically like if you are above a certain gpa you get recognized um for this award through the school there are two different ones that i'll be getting recognized for and i got it i got the email it's on a sunday and i was so excited and i emailed my parents like i forwarded them the email invitation i was like i got invited to this it's on a sunday and i just got off the phone with them and they surprised me they're coming out to visit for this ceremony. They're gonna come for the weekend and stay for the weekend and come like watch me walk across the stage to get recognized for this award. Y'all, oh my God, I was so like, I was so surprised. I was so like blown away because I, I wasn't expecting them to come. They live in Maine. I'm from Maine originally and Maine and Michigan are pretty far apart. They're a plane ride away. It's like a 15 hour drive. So I wasn't expecting them to come because it's so far away. And then they called and they were like, we're coming, we're, you know, flights are booked, hotel is booked, car, rental car is booked, like we'll be there um, to come spend the weekend with you and support you for this ceremony. And it just meant so much to me, like my mom and dad, I love them so much, like they are the best. So I'm gonna get to see them like basically a week from today. They're coming on Friday next week. And I'm gonna get to see them and I'm so happy. Okay, my camera died and both the batteries are dead. So we're vlogging this part on my phone, but I'm on my way out to class. <laughs> I have, uh, this is my last class of the day. It's three hours long, Ooh. But fortunately I'm the teaching assistant. I'm not taking it as a student, but we are heading out to class. I hope it's gonna be a good one. I am planning on being very
Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week. I just got out of the shower, obviously. I'm cooking a little breakfast this morning. I need to leave for class in about 20 minutes. So I'm hoping I'm doing like fried egg whites, toast, and some sausage. And I'm really hoping that it's done and that I can actually eat it before I have to leave. So there have been a couple times that I'll cook something and I have just enough time to cook it and then no time to eat it. But you remember the other day... <laughs> when I was so excited about the sunshine. I was like, wow, it's spring. <laughs> Get a load of this. I wake up this morning all excited for a brand new day. It's Friday, it's the end of the week, and it's a winter storm. Snow, as far as the eye can see, it's currently snowing. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up because the flakes are really small. It's like frozen rain, sort of. And I thought, what is this? So I have to say that was quite upsetting to wake up to, but we do what we can, you know? But anyway, happy Friday. I always feel inclined to say like, welcome back to the vlog whenever I like start vlogging like the different days in the week in my life videos, but you guys have been here the whole time. I'm the one that's leaving and coming back and sleeping overnight and then picking up the vlog the next day, so. Welcome back to me, I guess. I was able to sleep in this morning. That was really nice. And obviously, I, like I said, I took a shower. I have two classes today. They're each only an hour long. So that's really nice. I have class from 11 to 12 and 12 to one. And then we'll be done with school for the week. And I'm very excited. I'm quite excited, I have to say. experience I have had in a long time. I am not doing well. So I get out of my class for the day. I'm hungry. I'm proud of myself for finishing classes for the week and I go in to Chipotle to get myself some lunch. Y'all, I've never been so embarrassed. Okay, so I try to not like be obnoxious when I'm filming out in public. I try to like be very discreet and just get like short little five, 10 second montage clips and not really bother anybody. I go up and I'm filming a little like the sign with the menu and I'm filming the ingredients and the guy is moving so fast, like faster than I've ever seen anyone move. So I asked for a bowl with a tortilla on the side and they usually have to warm up the tortilla and it takes a couple of minutes, but he had them pre-warmed. So he just grabbed it and he's sitting there waiting for me to take my order. So I just go chicken and he goes, I was like, sorry, sorry, white rice, and then whatever. I started giving him my order, and he goes, are you undercover or something? And he looks at my phone, because I'm still recording. Um, can I do chicken? Or, sorry, white rice. Undercover? Yeah. <laughs> just gotta document the day. And I was like, no, 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 like, I just need to document the day. Like, I don't want to go around and be like, oh, actually, like, I'm a vlogger. Like, ooh. So I give him the rest of my order, and then he like passes it off to the person who's at the like the cash out like the checkout and he goes watch out for her she's fbi and i know that he was kidding and i know that it was just like all in good fun but i was so humiliated <laughs> not because of anything that he did i was just like i am so cringe right now like going in and recording everything and then having to like explain it to someone who doesn't know and be like oh yeah like i film my life for a living Oh my God. And then I was like, okay, maybe I'll get one last discreet shot of me like walking out of the Chipotle. I'll just like have my phone in the bag and I'm like, oh, I'm leaving. Look over my shoulder as I'm trying to get that shot of the restaurant. He's staring right, right at me, right at my camera, like direct eye contact. Y'all, I ran, like I ran home. I was like, I cannot. I, maybe if I run fast enough, I will escape the cringe. I'm cringing so hard at myself. Like it was so foolish. Oh, I am embarrassed. I did get my Chipotle, so there is a silver lining. I need to clean my room so badly. There's just stuff everywhere. But instead, I'm going to eat 
my Chipotle and watch some Outer Banks because I need to I need to escape my cringiness somehow. Oh my God, I've never been so embarrassed. But the Chipotle looks good. I haven't had this in so long. I'm so excited. I'm gonna peace out. This is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe. I need to leave. I need to like, I don't know. The feeling of like acknowledging in public that I like talk to a camera as my job and like film things for my job and then coming home and talking to the camera. <laughs> It's hitting too close to home. I need to go. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you even though I'm cringing right now. I love this job. I love you guys and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. So better stand the sky away.